Hey, what's good everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about a concept known as dollar cost averaging. And this is a technique to buy cryptocurrency with lower risk. So let me go through an example of why you might wanna do something that's a little lower risk. So if we take a look at some of the pricing for Bitcoin, and yes, you can do this on Binance by hitting like a month time frame. However, I just prefer this nice clean line chart. So we're going to go all time. You may have bought Bitcoin at its highest price when it was around 20,000 and then realized, oh crap, it crashed and you lost a ton of money. The dollar cost averaging approach, it, instead of investing all of your money at one point, you're going to invest a consistent amount over time. And the amount is measured in dollars. So instead of saying, oh, I'm gonna buy one Bitcoin every month, you can say something like, oh, I'm gonna buy $50 worth of Bitcoin every day or every week or whatever it might be. And the reason why it's important to have a consistent amount in dollars is this is going to neutralize risk because if the price is high, you're going to buy less Bitcoin. If the price is low, you're going to buy more Bitcoin but the actual amount in dollars is going to be the same every single time. So you can set something up like this inside of Binance and it's really simple. You don't have to find the dollar cost averaging button. You just do daily recurring buys. It's simple as that. And you don't have to do it on the daily. Um, that's not actually the way you do it. You say buy crypto and then you put in an amount. So you could say, I want to spend $20 and instead of a one-time purchase, you could do every day or you could do every week. And then where do you want to pay this from? Well, you can use the United States dollars that you transferred into your account or you can select your funding source, such as your bank account. Then you can hit buy Bitcoin and that's going to transfer every single week. So make sure you check that, hit confirm purchase Hopefully you can cancel it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you can, I'm just playing. So to get a little bit more info on dollar cost averaging, here's Wikipedia. It's an investment strategy that aims to reduce the impact of volatility. In other words, the high spikes in value upwards or downwards, which as you should know, Bitcoin is extremely volatile. So dollar cost averaging could be a really good thing to do with Bitcoin. All right, so it looks like my purchase is in progress and this should show up in the buy and sell history where you can cancel it or look at your buys and sells. So that is how you set up dollar cost averaging and it's just going to take a consistent amount every single week in dollars. In my case, we're paying $20 every single week. So if the price of Bitcoin skyrockets to like $200,000, we're going to buy a very, very small amount of Bitcoin. And if the price plummets, down to say $20, we're going to buy one Bitcoin. Now, obviously this is not going to give you the most gains compared to investing all of your funds when the price is low. You know, for example, if you invested right here and you just dumped all of your funds and then the price goes up and it continues to be higher than when you invested, that's going to be the best way to make money. The problem here is that you have to time the market and timing the market is either A, extremely hard and very few people know how to do it, or B, it's impossible and you can't actually know the price of Bitcoin in the future. Yeah, you can do some analysis, what you think or what's being shown in the news, but the reality is most people just do not know what the price is going to be like, even tomorrow. So my instinct is instead of trusting my intuition, which is probably flawed, I am going to just invest a little bit over time and that's going to be the easiest way for me to increase my Bitcoin balance without getting a ton of risk by just throwing all of my United States dollars into Bitcoin at one time. Now, if you're buying and selling Bitcoin, this might not be as useful to you. However, if you are instead using Bitcoin to buy other currencies, different base currencies than Bitcoin, well, then getting a lot of Bitcoin is going to be really important. So if you go into Binance and you go into trading. If we choose a different base currency and a different quote currency, for example, let's go into Bitcoin and we'll trade Ethereum here. If we were doing a lot of Ethereum trading, we're going to want to get enough Bitcoin 
and that we can make larger purchases and get higher gains in the process. But instead of throwing all of your fiat currency into Bitcoin immediately, I would suggest considering the dollar cost averaging transferring your fiat currency to Bitcoin over time. The same thing can apply if you're trading Bitcoin, you know, let's go back to USD and Bitcoin. If you want to get a pretty large Bitcoin balance, but you just want to make sure you're doing it with low risk, you can use dollar cost averaging to grow the amount of Bitcoin you have. And at that point you can execute sell offers to get back your fiat currency and hopefully make a profit. I think the dollar cost averaging is more targeted for people who are buying and holding cryptocurrencies. However, it's definitely something that's useful to know about when it comes to trading, especially if you just want to increase your cryptocurrency portfolio. So that is all I got for you guys in this video. I'm just gonna put this back to the hour timer. So it looks like it did when we started. Stay tuned for the next video where I think I'm going to introduce a new cryptocurrency that you should probably know about if you're gonna be working on Binance a lot. And do me a favor and slap that subscribe button and you know, share this with your friends.